Sorry, my hand's on the way. Hi. Hi. Hi, we're live from the tour in Glastonbury. You want to tell people what that is? No so one's. We're in the, we're in the tour. Limestone that has rivers and wells underneath it. It's a very powerful vortex on, on the summer of, of the earth. So we're, we're just waiting as the sun comes up from behind the clouds for the energy. But we're stood here and there's a download coming in straight from above at the moment, straight down through the crown shaft around my head. So I thought I'd share it all with you. We came to get a download from the fairies. We're in the tower. We're we're doing um kind of a thing to wait for the sun to come up, which is real similar to what happens at Stonehenge tomorrow morning for the solstice. So, oh, we're on the ley lines too. Yeah. Oh, it's real early too. Real early. They're waiting for the sun to come up. Oh, it's coming up. So what happens for this right now is this whole solar system is going through kind of the Milky Way and the galactic center. And so the sun is um, kind of going to merge with the energy of the galactic center, which is a lot of galactic energy that streams in for the solstice. And since the sun is getting activated by the galactic center, which is really powerful, if we connect with the sun and, um, you know, use it, it will activate us with those same kind of really powerful galactic energies. I like to think of the sun as a borehole kind of anyway, and that not just are tons of solar um, energies coming in during this time, that there's a lot of energies that can't even be recorded that are galactic frequencies. And those are the energies that I work with and that I'm tuned into. And um, I notice they really coincide with like things like astrology and things like that. So we're waiting for the sun to come up. We're getting some activations up here really quick. We thought we'd share some good energy up here. I'll take you around the tour real quick after. So connect with the sun this weekend. I know it's kind of, you know, the darker day of the year on a certain half of the planet, but try to connect with the sun, get outside, let the sun um, kind of hit your third eye. It's really good for you. Oh, and I'm, I'm off of Facebook because I'm doing stuff. But you guys know I'm in this solstice group I have and that I'm doing a ceremony and activation. I'm going to do a galactic sun activation tomorrow. So I'm really excited to do this. And um, I keep putting the link everywhere. So if you guys are trying to sign up or find that group, you got to come find me. Or just sign up on my site and I email you the link. But I'm really excited for tomorrow morning. So I'll give you a good view of the tour. I'm kind of half asleep. I'm still in the astral. <laughs> it's an amazing time to be astral. And we slept right under the tour anyway. I'll show you. We care slept in the caravan right under the tour. So it's so it's crazy energy to sleep out here on the lake lines. That's the lake line energy, kind of the storm energy. And a lot of this energy comes in through here because it is kind of the heart chakra and third eye chakra of the planet. So we can see that these storms are lighting up the ley lines and the Earth's chakra or stargate system. So these are literal stargate vortexes. I like to think of this place, Glastonbury, as a fairy world anyway. It's a fairy realm. And you can see where it does a lot of things like disturbs your electronics, magnetics, and does really crazy things energetically. So yeah, it's real windy. That's ley line energy kind of flying around and the space storm energy. So, a bit. so we'll go back in real quick and then I'm gonna get off here. My battery is really low. I'll come back on here um, when we go to the gardens too. So I like to connect with the fairies when I come in here. I like to introduce myself and tell them I'm here of service. <laughs> I like to, you know, kind of.
live in a fairy realm and there's a lot of ancestor energy here and a lot of deities people work with in these lot of places so it's good to connect with the fairies if any of you guys are trying to do that you can do that through these videos connecting with this place this is kind of a doorway to another realm dimensional doorway and i'm going to be going love and light